Representative Lesko, welcome back. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me back. Thanks for being back. You are a lioness on so many different issues, whether it's the border, whether it's the protection of our children. Let me talk to you about the border. There were some new stats yesterday uh, that I was reading about that just blew me away. We had um, 183,503 migrant encounters at the southern border last month, an increase from 144,566 the previous month. Debbie, my God. Yeah, it's a total invasion of our southern border. It's been going on ever since um, President Biden got into office. And those new numbers from July, I'm just going to give you a quick comparison between July of 2020, when Trump was president, there were 41,000 border crossings. You fast forward to July of 2023 under Biden, as you said, 183,500 border crossings that we know of. Those are the ones that were apprehended right. and processed. Right. And then, of course, there's a bunch of them that are known a uh, god aways, which means that they're caught on a camera or in a sensor. And then there's, of course, other ones we just haven't even seen. Our Border Patrol hasn't even seen. And so it's a total disaster. And as I've said before to you and to your audience, it's because President Biden wants an open border. He wants all of these illegal immigrants to be here. And when Secretary Mayorkas, who's the Secretary of Department of Homeland Security, says the border is closed, he's lying. He's totally lying. And you have been calling for uh, his uh, resignation or impeachment uh, for a long time now. Let me give the audience a sense of what we're talking about here. I think it was, um, I think I saw this on your Twitter feed last week um, from those that we did catch. Uh, one was wanted for homicide, one, one, one wanted for um, armed robbery and a drive-by shooting, one wanted for online promotion of prostitution, and uh, two with warrants for such wonderful things as um, distribution of child sexual abuse material and molestation. Um, Debbie, this is this is in part responsible for some of our crime wave in this country, but it's part of a much larger problem that I've been talking about with the audience for the past hour. It's an odd thing how people don't have their hair on fire. I guess it's hard to keep up with so many different crises at once. Maybe we're supposed to be distracted so we can't, so we can't maintain focus. Um, talk to me about what y'all are doing at the House of Representatives on this front. Well, you're right. It's it is interesting how it's lost a little bit of steam, yeah. although I'm totally upset about yeah, the no, border being wide open, and so are Republicans in the House. And so in May, it was May 11th of this year, the U.S. House of Representatives, with Republican support, not Democrat support, passed a border security bill. Now it's stuck in the Senate. And that's why elections have consequences. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why people elected President Biden. He he actually promised. He, he already said when he was campaigning what he was going to do. Yeah. He was going to stop building the border wall. And he did on the first day. He invited that he a surge in to the border. Yeah, you yeah. bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he announced it yeah. in advance. And people still elected him, which yeah. just, well, at least. You know, he's the president right now. There's still people out there that believe that there was a stolen election. I think there needs to be proof on that. But, boy, it, you know, of those people coming over in this fiscal year alone, there were 146 people that they caught that are on the terrorist watch list. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so not all these people, there's a lot of people that are good people and, you know, they're just trying to find a better place to live, right? Uh, listen, but I don't blame anyone for wanting laws. to come here. I don't blame yeah. anyone for wanting to come yes. here. Uh, but and, that's, and right. Biden. that's right. That's yeah. right. Biden's not closing the border. Right. Mayorkas is not closing the border. But a lot of these people are dangerous. Yeah. And as I've said before, I've been told by the Border Patrol uh, agents at the border 
that they're selling these kids into sex like slavery. Like um, the New York Times had a whole big article about how they found kids working in child labor yep. conditions in factories all over the country. Yep. And so what's happening is these kids are having to pay off the cartel members to cross the border. And then in addition to that, they're paying sponsors that are not good sponsors, right. that our own government is sending these unaccompanied kids to people that aren't even related to them. They're not vetting the sponsors. I mean, if, if you or I did something like this, we would be in jail. Of course. <laughs> okay. Of course. Of course. Or, you know, Child Protective Services would come in, you right, bet. or something. You bet. And, and – and here we have our own president, our own secretary of Department of Homeland Security, who's supposed to be securing our border, is totally doing the opposite. And it just frustrates the heck out of me. And that's why I am supportive of, of I've called on Mayorkas to resign. Yep. I have signed on to impeachment yep. articles for yep. Secretary Mayorkas, yep. and I am ready to go ahead with an impeachment inquiry on President Joe Biden, yeah. because I think it's time that the U.S. House of Representatives be given a little bit more authority to do some investigation more on Joe Biden and his dealings with his son, Hunter Biden, yeah. and these foreign uh, companies that were giving Hunter Biden, and we think also Joe Biden, millions of dollars. Well, the the... the the idea of impeaching Mayorkas is a good one. I think the idea of impeaching Merrick Garland is a good one. I would start there, frankly, my own sense of, of, of the political mm -hmm. uh, realm of this thing, and, and look at, at, at ultimately having it work its way up to the point where Biden can no longer maintain his credibility of presidency and maybe himself has to resign. I don't know. I, 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 you're, you're, you're in politics more than I am. You may have the better sense of it. But I think that there is an easy, clear-cut case for the impeachment of Mayorkas and certainly Merrick Garland. And uh, What's the sense of your caucus in wanting to do that sort of thing and go forward with impeachment hearings? Well, I think um, for Mayorkas, there's a large number of Republicans that I think are ready for that. Yeah. But now the buzz, of course, the big buzz is Joe Biden, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And so a lot of people, except maybe Judiciary Committee members and some members, are, uh, there's not a lot of people talking about impeaching Merrick Garland. Is that right? Okay. You know, okay. Um, I haven't heard a lot of talk okay. about that. What I've heard a lot of talk about is um, proceeding with uh, um, an impeachment inquiry against Joe Biden based not on the border, even though if we could, yeah, sure. but based, based on what is happening with what the um, Oversight Committee, yeah. what the Judiciary Committee, and what the Ways and Means Committee have been investigating and finding out about the dealings of Hunter Biden and how there seems to be evidence, we need more concrete evidence, evidence that Joe Biden was tied into that. Now, we have evidence that Joe Biden uh, was part of phone calls where Hunter Biden was sitting with foreign national clients, yep. like business clients. Mm -hmm. We have evidence that Joe Biden, who was vice president at the time, went uh, for coffee uh, with another foreign, uh, I think it was a Chinese company president or CEO. We have evidence that Joe Biden went out to dinner uh, with some of these foreigners and foreign nationals. We have what some of Hunter Biden's, um, one of Hunter Biden's business partners uh, said something to the effect of uh, H is holding 10% yeah. for the big guy. Yeah. And we believe that that is that Joe Biden got, you know, 10%. Of, of the cut of what Hunter Biden is pulling in. And the reason that this is so important is not only is it, you know, I illegal and uh, corrupt, but also, you know, how is this impacting Joe Biden's policies? Of course. Because all of his policies seem to benefit China 
and other well, countries. all these countries of concern, whether it's Ukraine, whether it's China, whether it's Burisma, whether it's... Yeah, absolutely. These are not irrelevant countries. Uh, listen, Debbie, I know you only have a short time. I love your energy. I love what you're doing. And I love that you stop by from time to time. God bless you. Godspeed and keep it up, Debbie. Thank you so much. You bet. You we'll too. talk. You bet. We'll talk to you soon. I'm Seth. We'll be right back. <laughs> 